So over here you can see that I have my graphics with some layers on it. So I got layer three objects in background, as you can see. But if I were to go onto the scene right here and add in uh, the graphics right here, I only have one transform. I, I cannot control out the individual layers. So I can scale this out as a whole, but I cannot scale out individual layers right here. So in order to fix that out, what you can do is you can go on to the puppet for that graphics right there and then add in behavior to individual layers right here. So I'm just going to go to the top layer right here, which is this one, the tree, and then there's the object, the background, and there's the background, of course, that's the sky. So I'm just going to go to layer three and then add in a behavior right here. So I'm just going to add in a transform behavior onto this. So just like that, I've added in transform behavior for layer three right here. For objects, I'm going to add in another transform behavior just like this, and I'm going to go to the background, go to behavior, and then add in another transform behavior for that as well. So I have added in behavior for all of the three layers. So now uh, what I can do is I can go to record right here, and then you can see that the three transforms are here. But uh, what we have to do is not finished yet. So if I were to go to transform now, and go to background and scale this out, you can see that it is not working out correctly. The layer is not moving, but the entire thing is moving. That is because the puppet is linked out. So it is actually uh, for a character puppet right here. So these are not independent layers yet. So what you have to do is you have to turn all of them independent, just like this, and then go back into the record section. And now what happens is that when you move up the background right here, you can move out the anchor point. You can see that only the background layer moves out just like that. You can scale this out just like that. And then go over here on to the transform layer for layer three right here. You can scale that out individually and then place this, place this out just like that. And go around over here. You can uh, just change that out into 100% and then scale this out over here from this side as well. And then I can go around, change around the position. So I'm just going to change around the position right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, transform and then kind of scale this out as well. So what I can do is I can scale it out and I can change around the position. So I can change the X or the Y position right over there and have a shuttle animation on this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an, uh, an animation in position X. I'm just going to move this on to the right side right here. And then I'm going to go around and then add uh, this change around the keyframe just like this. So there's a subtle movement as you can see right here. And I can see the keyframes over here on the timeline as well. So there's a subtle movement just like that. And what I can do is I can add in keyframe to all of these. So I'm just going to scale this out as well. I'm going to go to transform, I'm gonna add in a keyframe onto the scale and then go around and then increase out the scale as well and then change around the uh, position. So I'm just going to change around the Y position and then there you go. So what I have is I have a subtle movement as you can see right there and I can just go around, add in the details as per what I need. So I'm just going to go around over here, just gonna keep this a uh, bit below, so I'm just going to change around the position. And then there you go. So this is the animation I have now. And just like that, you can see that you can add in the transform behavior so that you can control out individual layers inside of the character animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.